Hi guys, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to install packages basically in Python, but especially some <clears throat> add-ons for Jupyter Notebooks. And this is, I'm kind of doing for my class, but anybody who's learning Python along with me this semester, this will help you understand how to upgrade packages, install packages, that sort of thing through the terminal window. So this video is for Mac users because it's just a little different than Windows. So my assumption is that you already have Anaconda installed and you can open Jupyter Notebooks. And so one thing I wanted to add to Notebooks to make them more functional, first of all, for me is a spell checker, because if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I cannot spell. And so I already have a spell checker installed on this one, <clears throat> but I'll show you how to do it. And as you're working, what you'll see is that um, it will automatically highlight words it doesn't know. So in this case, it doesn't know the word Jupiter because that's not really how you spell Jupiter. So, and then does this uh, in line as well as you are typing. Um, one th and then the other thing I've been going to install to show you how this works is Rise. Rise is an add-on for notebooks that allows us to make some pretty cool slideshows. And this will really helpful if you are teaching with Jupiter or if you're wanting to make a presentation with Jupiter. Okay. So let's start by pretending to install some stuff. So on a Mac, what you do is go straight to terminal. I already have terminal kind of open because that's how Jupyter runs. So I'm going to hit um, Alt N to, or I'm sorry, not Alt, Command M, N as in Nancy, <laughs> to create a new window. So you should get this window here. And just to make sure that this will work for you, you can type pip. And as long as you see the command options, everything's good to go. What you'll do is you'll highlight all of this, copy it, come over here to the window and paste it in. And then it will run and install that for you. Um, I, I guess I could hit paste. Let's see. Mine's already in here. <clears throat> and then one thing that sort of flew by as I was working um, was that it basically says, okay, it's done. You've already installed this, is that I should upgrade pip. Uh, and so if you don't know how to do that, you can just type upgrade pip, but do type Mac in there. So you at least get the information about um, opening this in terminal. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's no fun. Usually it pops up as like one of the first things. And then here's one of the lines. When you're copying, because in the previous video I did not do this correctly, um, be sure that the upgrade line here is two dashes. Dash, dash. Okay. It doesn't always copy correctly from the interwebs, so it is, it is dash, dash to upgrade. Okay, so it's Python, pip install, upgrade pip. Okay. Um, it tells me a couple more things that I should install, and so I could go through all those different um, options. So we could do pip install phpyhamcrest. Okay, I had to do this on my Windows machine too. Okay, and then it's also giving me an error about Python and pyqt5. Okay, <clears throat> and so I should upgrade those as well. So as not to bore you with a bunch of package upgrades, but that's how you do it. Let's also install Rise. So I'm going to highlight this one. This is part of Conda, which is a similar command to pip. Paste that bad boy in there. And then you kind of wait. <coughs> so let me tell you a little bit about Rise while we wait here. What it does is it allows me to create slideshows using JavaScript that's kind of integrated into the uh, notebook here. So once we get it installed, you'll see a little um, icon that looks kind of like a, um, a bar graph. And so the first thing that you'll have to do, let's get back over here and see what's happening. Still installing. First thing you'll have to do to make a Rise notebook work, um, and I'm sorry, the Rise plugin work, and they tell you this in their instruction manual. So if you Google Rise Jupyter, that'll get you to their GitHub page is you'll have to edit the notebook metadata. So click on view, I'm sorry, no, edit, edit. 
edit notebook metadata, not the metadata for each cell, but the metadata for the entire notebook. And this is the action here where it says rise auto launch equals true. Okay. Now what I had when I first came to the, uh, the metadata was something like this. Okay. And so this is JSON format, which it kind of looks like CSS if you're familiar with that. So I wanted to add one more set of commands within the main curly brackets. So these two outer ones need to stay. So I did a comma here to add one more command and then added the rise um, options that they, the uh, how-to guy told me to add and then made sure that my curly brackets were still closed. Okay. Once you do that, there's no save. You just hit edit. Now let's see where this thing is at. It is, oh, it's mad at me. Oh, that's a different window. <laughs> Proceed, yes. So it wants me to update some stuff um to make this work so yes that's fine the other thing that you'll want to do and normally you would see a notebook like this okay, is go to view go to cell toolbar and change it to slideshow there are several options here slide which means it's a new slide sub slide which is this sort of slide beneath the slide um, fragment which is similar to um, PowerPoint kind of options for uh, bullet points. And so where you could like show one bullet at a time. I didn't use a whole lot of fragment uh, because sometimes you need to control where things are on the screen. Uh, and I'm not that good at this yet. So <clears throat> fragment would be like show line one, show line two, but it would be each cell one at a time. Skip is obvious, it skips it. And then notes for like kind of your notes view. And then once we get this installed, you'll be able to see what it looks like. But the, it, even if you don't install Rise, when you set up this sort of slideshow view, that means that you can do file, download as, reveal uh, JavaScript slides. And that's pretty cool because even if you don't want to install Rise, now you have um, a set of slides so I can walk through these. The problem here is that these slides are not interactive, right? This is sort of static. The nice thing about Rise is that the slides are interactive. So let's go back to our command prompt. Okay, looks like it's done. So I closed that one out, leave this one open, that's running my actual notebook. And so I'm going to close the notebook. Okay. And actually like shut it down completely close it now I'll go back to my files and reopen it we should have our new rise option there we go and so here's the icon for it so we can enter the slideshow and then this is what the <clears throat> arise slideshow looks like so um, that's kind of what we've done already but the nice thing here is like I said it's interactive so I can actually run the Python and double click on it and actually change it if I wanted to. <coughs> and if we wanted to, let's go to a slide here that has something else. I could change this to text two. And that didn't work because I didn't run something. I didn't run the other piece that actually imported all of this. So it is actually interactive and I can um, edit on the fly during my presentation. The fragment thing is where these up and down, I'm sorry, not fragments, uh, subslides, it's where the up and down arrow is. So you can actually add kind of like, it's kind of like a stacked slideshow. All right, close that bad boy. Um, it does look kind of funny, like where it won't go back to being actually rendered in Markdown view, but if you hit run, it, um, it will update that. Yeah, I know you're mad. Um, update that. Uh, markdown chunk for you. So the real problem I had here was that I didn't really actually run this one. So now if I run this one, I should get both of them. Once I get the text imported, now this one should rerun. Okay, so that's uh, one tricky thing about Jupyter Notebooks to me is that <laughs> they still show you the output even though they don't maybe haven't been run in this current um, sort of console environment 
And so you have to remember that you have to run those previous uh, cells to get this to work. And so sometimes what, I what I've been telling students to do is basically restart the kernel and just rerun the whole notebook to make sure that you have all your variables actually open. So uh, that's the basic gist on how to install packages, kind of like some examples specifically for Jupyter add-ins and how to work a Rise notebook uh, in, in on a Mac this time instead of Windows.